Wayne, these days people are looking at downsizing their vehicles, but if there are people out there that want to carry, say, more than seven people, what options do they have? Our Toyota has a Toyota Tarago, which is capable of carrying nine people, through to the Coaster bus, which is 21 seats. And today behind us, we have a commuter bus, which is 14 seats. Now, when it comes to the commuter bus with 14 seats, can people, well, a car this size, can people drive that on a standard licence? Aaron, it comes in a combination of 14 seats in either diesel or petrol, and you have options to customise that to 12 seats, which is on a standard licence, or even looking at wheelchair conversions, which this vehicle is really optimal for. Now, technically this is a commercial vehicle, so could people expect all the safety and technology that comes in a standard car? Yes, Aaron, Toyota builds a vehicle for safety, no matter whether it's a passenger or a commercial. And we have dual airbags, vehicle stability control, and seat belts through every seat. So Wayne, what type of customers are buying vehicles like this? It's quite varied, Aaron. So we have aged care organisations, senior citizens, sporting clubs, and not-for-profit organisations, and church groups such as the Centrepoint Church that we're dealing with today. Now I'll be catching up with them later to find out exactly how the process went, because I assume when it comes to dealing with large groups, there's a lot of things you have to do for them. We've got specialist people to keep it quite simple and help them through that process and that journey. At City Toyota we try and be a good corporate citizen, so finding our ways to give back to the community, and obviously with vehicle purchases for people, it's a great opportunity for us to get involved and help them through that process. Now if people want to get deck lean and stuff like this, what you've fitted on this van, is that simple to do as well? Some might say it's a moving billboard because there's a lot of canvas there to work with and so we can image that vehicle and have a look on the computer before we actually print that design and you can see a lot of work's gone into that which we can help with. Well again Wayne, thanks very much for your time. Thanks Aaron. And I'll be catching up with the community group that bought the van just to find out how good you did. Great. Now Joel, you actually head up the church that's purchased this commuter bus off City Toyota. That's right. I'm the senior pastor of a church called Centrepoint Church along with my wife. We do a lot of community programs in all three of our campuses, which is Maddington, Bibra Lake and Baldivis. So we have three youth programs that help at-risk teenagers, programs to get them off the streets on a Friday night. Uh, we also do great things with uni students who are living far away from their families. We do all sorts of stuff like that. Really, wherever there's a need in the community, we like to uh, help if we can. Now it sounds like this is actually more important than just a vehicle to get people from A to B. Absolutely. The programs are fantastic, physically, emotionally, spiritually, but the big thing was getting the people who most needed the programs to actually be able to receive from it. Now Joel, I need you to help me a little bit because I want to find out a little bit more about your journey and your experience with City Toyota. We thought about a bus nearly 10 years ago. It was too extraordinary priced for us to be able to actually get our own. So it was just a dream. And then we heard of City Toyota and their heart toward helping the community sponsorships. And so we actually went to them and said, what do you think? And they were so helpful. They loved what we were doing and they basically jumped on board to make all of this possible. So they worked with you to make the whole process simple and came up with solutions that allowed you to actually become the owner of this bus. We actually didn't know what was needed. We actually didn't know the process to it. They walked us step by step through the whole thing and I thought of many things that we didn't think ourselves. So we are thoroughly grateful. Well, I know you can only fit up to 14 people in here, but your church would obviously hold a lot more people. If people want to get involved in your church, can they do that? Absolutely. We do so many different community programs. We'd love anybody who would like to give someone else a helping hand to jump on our website, centerpoint.church. Joel, congratulations on your new bus. Can't wait to see what you get up to with it. Thank you so much. We will be in touch. Now, if you're part of a community organisation or you're just looking for a transportation solution for up to 14 people, make sure you deal with a dealership where you get more. City Toyota. Go to citytoyota.net.au or follow the links from our website. And that's a wrap.